back. So today we're gonna learn how to solve a Rubik's cube. So first, what you wanna do is give it a little mix up. Like so let's just mix it up super badly. I don't know what I'm doing. So okay, so it's pretty good mixed up. Now let's solve a cross. So the cross should look like. But let's not get to that far yet. So, so solve and make a cross is you want to find the edge pieces. So if I see an edge piece right here, I want to move it to this lot. I just move it like this, and then I move it over there. So it's one edge piece done. Now let's see the other edge pieces. So now I see two edge pieces over here. I need to bring them to the white. So. Go down there and let's just bring them both up like this. So now that is done. And I see one more edge piece right here. So to insert it, I'm gonna I'm gonna move it out and bring those two up. Bring this one down. And then there we go. So next what we want to do is solve the leftover two things or you should have four to three or no, two so what you want to do is bring it down if I want to move it over here bring it down bring this one down where I can move it over here so like this so now this is over here and I can bring them both up now we see we have to do one more so this one might be kind of tricky or some beginners. If you see one like this on the bottom, you move to the top. You just have to bring it up and you bring this because now you have a bar here. You have to place it in the other one and then you have something that looks like this. So, you want to do is bring these two up and you see you're left up with the middle. You want to insert it. Like so, you want it. You want to insert it. You want to insert it to here. So you have to move it out. You have to move it in. Move it back, and there we go. So now we solve the white color. So now we want to solve the cross. I mean, I mind that the first layer. So the first layer, it might be the hardest for some people, might be the easiest. I think the last is the hardest. Oh, we'll go do the there. But okay, so if you see that there's a blue and red edge here, blue and red, blue and red, and you see blue and reds over here, you want to bring the blue and red corner down and then you bring it out so then you have the blue and red free to go and then what you do with that is you want to insert it to the blue and red place so you want to move it out you bring it in and then it should be good like that and then you see we have a green and orange so the green and the orange is right here and the greens over and the greens over here you we want to move it to this slot because that's where move it to this slot yeah because that's where the green and orange is so you just move it bring it down move it and it's up so now this green and orange slot is done now we see we have a blue and orange case so if we see blue and orange you want to move it to here And then we just bring it down, move it, there we go. So now we have the two orange. So now we see we have red and green. We want to move it to that finished white piece. So we move it in, move it out, and boom. Okay, so now we're done with the first layer. Almost, actually. So if we see we have the orange and blue here, we want to bring it down 
and move it. Because now we have the orange edge that needs to go over here. Also, by the way, can we get 10 views on this video and one like? That would be amazing. So we want to move it up to here. So we move here. Bring it up. Move it. Boom. So now this part's done. Now we see we just have to finish the white with the white and blue. And now we just bring it out. Move it. Bring it back in. Boom. So now we finish the first layer. This is probably the easiest part to learn. It's called the second layer. So if we see, we have a blue and orange that need to go to the right side. You want to move it to the left. So, so the blue and orange is right there. We have to move it to the right side. So we have to move it to the left. Sorry, we have mirror on, so. So, right, move, move the left. If we want to move to the right, so you have to move it to the left side. And then you bring the right one down, just like so. And then you have to bring it out. So, now what we see is we see these two are paired. That's what we want. So, the next thing we have to do is. Put that white piece back. So once you do that, just put the white piece back. And now we finish that pair. Yeah, so now we have to do that to every other side. So if you can't get it because yet it's like stuck in there, you need the edge, you could just do it two times. Then you can get it out. So if I see a red and blue, let's go to the left side to the right side. Yeah, mirrors on, so I can't do anything about it. It might look so. Go to the right side, move the right one. I'm going to move the right, the, the last piece right here. Move it to the left, bring the right one down, and then move it up like that. And now we have it paired. Like that. So now let's just fix the white. There we go. So now we finished. Yeah, now we have one more to do, which is called the green and orange. This will be a part two for this because I, I only I only have a certain amount of time to do it. This will be part two, so this is part one. So, green and orange. To orange and green. So, move it out. Bring it. Oh, so this one's on the left side. So you want to move. You want to do the opposite. So you want to move this one to the right. Bring the left one down and bring it back. Now it's paired up. Now we can just put it back. And there we go. The second layer is done. So now we want to do the yellow case, and that will come out tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow, but maybe it might come out. Okay, no, we can do it. So we're gonna have to do the. It's called a chair. It's called a chair when this happens. There's three different types of cases, and I'll show you all three of them, but let's start with the chair. So the algorithm, so you wanna, this is the face when it's on the left side, like this. Yeah, I didn't You wanna turn it to the, turn the front one. So this is my face, the, the edge, so. To turn the front one, and then you turn the right one up. Like that, then you turn the top one to the right. Then you turn the right one down. Then you turn the top one to the left, and then you bring it down. Okay, so now we we have a line. So you do the same one. I'll, I'll repeat it. Make sure never to use this face. Never use that face. So never make the line vertical to you. Always use it horizontal. So it's F for front, R for right. Okay, let's make it easier. So just turn the front one once. Turn the front one to the right. 
turn the right one up, turn the, the, the top one to the right, and bring the right one down, and turn the top one to the left, and then turn it back with, with, the, with the front to the left. So now you have a cross. This has one, two, three. There's only six cases. But the good news is you only have to memorize the faces. But the good news is there's only one algorithm. So if it's like this, when a cross is like that, and it has this side with the two edges and this side with the two edges, you want to go at the side without any edges. So you want to go on this side the green side so we're going to go on the green side so we're going to turn the right one up we're going to turn the top one to the right we're going to bring the right one down we're going to turn the top one two times so one two then we're going to bring it back up and then um bring it here Okay, sorry about that. So, this is the case. Remember, don't go on the sides with the yellow edges. So, we turn the right one up. We turn the top one to the right. We bring the right one down. And then we turn the one one time. And then we bring the right one up. And then we turn it two times and we bring it down. So, now you come to this case. This is called, I, I call it my lucky case. So what if the, when this case happens, you can solve the yellow color. I have to show you the other cases too, but if you guys remember the algorithm, then this will be easier. The algorithm is R U R U. Wait, R U R prime U R U two R prime. So the algorithm. So we we can I show you it again. But I call this lucky so this is the case for solve yellow. So if you see the right one right here, and it's a cross like this, you solve it with one algorithm. It's called so. You can this one's more like you just look at it. So you turn the right one up. Turn the right one up. And turn the top to the right. Mm -hmm. And then once, then we turn it to the, we turn the right one down. Then we turn it to, we turn the top one to the right. And then turn it two times and then boom. Okay, that's all for this video. Tomorrow or maybe in the next two days, we're going to have a part two. That's all for this video. Bye.